In today's video, I'm going to show you how I go from idea to published in minutes. To do that, I'm going to show you around my back end. You'll be seeing all of the systems that I've built using ClickUp, Sapier, and ChatGPT to create content in minutes for myself and for my clients. So welcome back, my marketing buddies. My name is Jose Ricardo Rosado, and I work from a country most people can't place in the map, the Dominican Republic. So it would be nice if you could like and share this video with your friends, and let's get started right away. My process is very straightforward. It all starts with an idea. And that idea, all I do is I dictate all of that to the artificial intelligence. And the artificial intelligence will transcribe all of these things nearly instantly. So I've set up a few automations with some of my apps so that I take out my phone when I'm going for a daily stroll, you know, my 30 minute daily stroll, and I just start dictating things to the app and it will transcribe everything. And let me do a quick example for you right now. This is a quick test to see how the automation works. Now, all I have to do is send that voice note and the automation will kick in. And I'll show you in a while how that looks like in my ClickUp setup. But before I do, let me keep showing you how my workflow goes. So, okay, now it dictates. All of these things that I dictate to the app will be transcribed. And the beauty of this transcription is that it's done automatically and ChatGPT automatically makes that transcription better. So I could just do a stream of consciousness and talk and talk and talk for minutes and ChatGPT will take all of that and create the first draft of whatever I want it to draft. In my case, the first draft is usually for a newsletter, an email for my newsletter. And this email is added automatically to ClickUp. Then all I have to do is edit because at the end of the day, it still needs a little bit of human touch. So it sounds like me. And once it's edited, I can click one little button and repurpose that newsletter into tweets, carousels, and real scripts. And by the end of the process, everything will be scheduled and I'm done with that work. Now, do you remember that little test I did? Let me show you how this looks like right now. Check this out. If I scroll down, I'll see that there's a new task right there. Try this quick test. Check this out. I click there and now let's click here. You'll see that the automation automatically transcribed everything. Check this out. Let's scroll down and let's find the original transcription. There it is. This is a quick test to see how the automation works. Beautiful, right? Now, of course, since this is just a dumb test, you'll see that version one of this post is a par obviously because it was just a test and version two is like awful too so let me give you a quick glance of how this actually looks like so a few days ago i was talking with my community and some of them are a little bit older they have like 30 40 50 years old and i was telling them about how they're going to get displaced by younger generations if they don't capitalize on ai and check this out here you'll notice that i have my transcription right here as a comment it was like a three to five minute voice note where I'm just describing the coaching session I was having. But the beauty about this is that now I have two versions of this transcription that is bettered to make it more engaging. Version one and version two, all right there on ClickUp. So that whenever I want to assign it to my copywriter or other people in my business, I could just click here and assign it to one of them. Now, let's say that they're done doing the editing or myself doing the editing. There are many things that can be done. Let's do a quick example. Let's say that Cesar is done with the editing. Then all he has to do is click revision and automatically ClickUp will assign the task to me. As you can see right there, there's my beautiful Latino phrase right there. And it also adds a debt. Let me refresh this. So now I know that I have to revise this by tomorrow, but that's not the only thing. Once I'm done with the revision and the editing, I can click here once again and hit the repurpose stage and this will turn all of these ideas from this new newsletter and create a bunch of tweets and other types of content. And let me show you a quick example of how that looks like. So let's go to my tweet section and check this out. Look at all the tweets that I have already ready to be edited. And let's use this one that I did yesterday. From one blog post or one newsletter, I get all of these tweets first drafts of tweet because I still need to edit it a little bit more so it sounds more like me and that of my clients too. But check this out, pages upon pages of beautiful tweets, beautiful tweets that I could just copy and paste, but I don't actually do that. I edit first and you'll see, beautiful, right? And I have an even more powerful automation that gives me even more tweets, even more things by the different topics I cover in that newsletter. For example, in this case, I'm talking about productivity. So the artificial intelligence automatically extract five key learnings and look what the automation does for me. Let's scroll down to find it. You'll find that in this blog post, I have five learnings. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And now it's creating new tweets based on the different learnings. And you can think about learnings as the key points made in the newsletter or article. And now it creates more tweets for each of these learnings. As you can see here, learning one, 
Let's find learning two. There it is. Learning three is down below. There it is, et cetera, et cetera. Now, it doesn't end here. Check this out. Let's take a look at the reels. You see all of these reels here? Let's click this one and let's take a look. You see, I have different versions of the reels. And here's my favorite part of this. Let me copy and paste all of these things and let's create a new reel script. Check this out. Let's go here. Let's scroll down and find the reels right here. Reel A. Let's open this and let's paste the text. Let's remove all of these fluff because I don't actually need it. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's remove all of this because I think this is a nice hook. All of these things. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And let's remove version number two. And now what I'm going to do with this is I want a better hook because this hook is not, uh, it's subpar. So how do I do that? Well, I can manually do all of these things and, you know, think about and use my creativity to make it work. But why should I? Why should I? I shouldn't. Why? Because I have an automation for that. Check this out. If I click here and I do click this little option that you see right here, right hook, let's click it. In a few moments, it'll take everything you see here and it'll give me a bunch of hooks ideas in the comment section. So while I'll wait for that, let's check out other things that the automation does. Here, it also creates Instagram carousels. Let me show you one. Bam. Here it is. It gives me tweet number one for the carousel, number two, number three, etc. Let me show you another version of this one. Let's see this one again. Let me show you. This is the first slide of the carousel, the second slide, third slide, etc. And it also gives me a version number two, slide one, slide two, slide three. And of course, it needs a little bit of editing, but you just saved hours trying to repurpose original content into new things. And now let's take a look at the new hooks that the automation created. So let's go to the reels. Now it's in revision. It's done automatically. I click here and now you don't see any hooks right here because it's here in the comment section, 12 new hooks that I can just copy paste and use for that specific real script. So let's see. Oh, this is a beautiful one. Imagine making money off your trolls and let's see if we have something interesting down below. Okay. I found one, this one, let's copy it and let's go back. And here now I can do the following thing. Let me move my iPad to one way. I'll paste this here. I'll paste this there. And now I'll edit a little bit. Imagine making money off your strolls. Let me show you how to turn their hate into cash. Beautiful, right? Let's remove all of this because it's not needed. And now I have a nice real script that I can use at any time to record it right here with this camera. So it's a beautiful system. Now, how does all of this look like in Sapier? Because Sapier is, is the thing that connects OpenAI, ChatGPT, and all of these apps that I use. Let me show you. Let's take a look at the hooks automation. Let's zoom in. And here you can see that whenever a task changes from one stage or one status to another, then it will trigger the Sapier automation. And here's how this looked like. A little bit of zoom in once again. Whenever an event happens and the event is task changes something, then find my account, then or that the task belongs to this workspace, this folder, this list. And what changes is, as you can see here, the status. And the status is, in this case, right hook. Remember when I click the right hook status? Well, that's what happens. If I click continue, Sapier will automatically find a new record. And let's click here so you can see it live. This is a funny hook that I wrote the other day. <laughs> Hopefully it gets me a lot of engagement. But anyhow, let's take a look. It'll find a new task. And let's just pick on another one. Five ways I monetize as a solopreneur. Very, very, very boring hook. So let's continue with the selected record and let's zoom out a little bit and check this out. Now, ChatGPT will know the context and the content within that task. And it'll take that task, extract the content, and use this very simple ChatGPT prompt. I copied a few very powerful hooks that I found online, and I'm using this as an example. So it will not just copy paste this. It will use the hooks examples as the example. So you can screenshot this if you want. Let's close this. And now, if I click continue and click retest step, it'll take the information, this one, the content, and it'll apply the chat GPT prompt to it. Let me refresh because sometimes Sapier breaks and let's take a look at what it did. So it took the content, let's move down, and it returned these beautiful new hooks, which is way more powerful than just five ways I make money online. Can you see how this works? So by tying all of these apps together, chat GPT, open AI, Sapier and ClickUp, I can create my own content engine. And this is the exact process I use for my clients. All I do is I ask them for a voice note or I ask them a question and they return a voice note. I send the voice note to be transcribed by the artificial intelligence. And then with just a few clicks, it turns all of these things into tweets, carousels, reels, anything I want. And every client has their own separate automation so that the tweets and the content we produce for them actually sounds like them. So this very simple automation, 
it creates the newsletter from a void transcription. Real scripts from that same void transcription that of course becomes a nice newsletter. It turns it into tweets and Instagram posts carousels, which are next sent to the graphic designer. He creates it and then back to my virtual assistant who will schedule them using the different apps that we use to schedule stuff. All straightforward, all thanks to the power of artificial intelligence. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hoped you learned something new. Make sure to go back, rewatch it to see how this works and try doing it by yourself. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to my newsletter because there I talk way more on how to create content and more importantly, how to monetize that content by selling your coaching, your services and even your information products. So once again, my name is Jose Ricardo Rosado and see you in the next video.